make a tutu. This tutu that we're going to make today is going to fit a bitty baby or it could fit a an American Girl doll or an 18 inch doll which is the same size as an American Girl doll or it could also fit a newborn baby up to maybe three months depending on how big the baby is. So let's get started. Okay, first of all uh, this tutu will fit an American Girl doll or as I said an 18 inch doll. I got this doll at Walmart. She was $19.99 marked down to $14. I've made quite a few tutus for her. Um, I did make that shirt out of an old t-shirt and I ironed on princess. So um, the tutu will fit this doll. But today we're going to make it for a little girl whose birthday is coming up in October. She's going to be actually turning three. So we're going to use a bitty baby. And what I do is I go to the dollar store or to the family dollar and I get these little bitty babies. And they're just little tiny baby dolls. They're very inexpensive. This one ha actually had been five and been marked down 20% off, so I actually got this baby for $4. I got three or four of them. Um, she's a soft-bodied baby doll. And the little girl, it's for two and up, so the little girl's going to turn three in October. For We're going to make a purple one today for the little girl because that's her favorite color. And they come with these little head caps that come off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make a tutu for this doll that will also fit the 18 inch doll or American Girl doll or a newborn. And then in the next video, the second part of this video, I'm going to show you how to make the hair bow that goes on the cap or you can actually put it on a stretchy band, either one. But today we're going to make the purple one. So let's get started. So this little girl's favorite color is purple. So what we're going to need, now I use this, this is an old lampshade. It's a small one, fits a small lamp. And I use this to tie the ribbon around so that it's easier to tie off the tool that we're going to make for the tutu. You don't have to use this. Some people use paper towel rolls. Uh, some people just freehand it, but I just find this is easier. Plus, it, it shows how it's going to lay down more because it's going to come out kind of like this, too. So we're going to use this to tie. You're going to need some uh, ribbon. Um, wide ribbon. This is wide ribbon and now I always tie my tutus on ribbon. You can use elastic. Some people use headbands um, where it stretches up over the baby. That's perfectly fine but the reason I use ribbon is number one I think it's cuter to have a little ribbon tied down in the back and, and streaming down but also because it's more uh, flexible if you're not sure what size to make for the baby or for a gift. Uh, you can actually tie it around and then as the baby grows if it happens to be a baby or a toddler or whatever you have more leeway for example if it gets bigger then you can tie it off and it can fit a little bit longer even if there's a little bit of a gap in the back and also because you can take the tool, tool ties off of it or you can add some to it to make it wider and let it grow with the child if you're making it for a child. So what you need to do is you need to get enough ribbon and I use the wide ribbon. I do use the grain ribbon. I prefer that over the silk. You can use either one but I just find that the tool lays better with this. And I cut enough ribbon to tie a pretty bow in the back and I've got all kinds of purple tool here and I do buy these at the Hobby Lobby on sale. They're normally $3.99 as you can see right here but occasionally like every six weeks they'll run these things for 99 cents a roll and that's when I grab them and get them on sale. So I've got all different shades of purple here. I'm just going to mix and match them here and I'm also going to put a little white in it and this white has got some sparkles in it. I don't know if you can see that or not if it shows up but I got all these for 99 cents a roll on sale. Now, according to the ch child, if you're going to have a child that you think is um, going to chew on this or something, like a, a baby that's less than three years old, a two-year-old, or an 18-month-old, or a toddler or something, I don't suggest that you use the sparkly kind. I would just use the satin kind here because you don't want the baby to be putting that in their mouth. So Now, what I use to measure off my strips for the tutu is a cardboard top. Now you can use 
a box. I have these that I've used for copier boxes. I have the case of case packs of the 500 packs of paper for our copier at work. I take the lid off of it and I cut the cardboard out. This is one that I had from a t-shirt form that I used for the newborns, but the cardboard boxes work just as well. I find that cardboard works uh, well to cut your strips out. So, in this case, a three to nine month old is approximately 16 inches this way vertically. Uh, but in this case for the bitty babies, I'm going to use a 12 inch strip. And of course that's going to be halved. You're going to fold it over and make it half. So it's not going to be that long. So that's the cardboard that you'll need. So now let's cut our strips. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to take our cardboard. We're going to take one strip. Now I'm going to tell you it takes about one roll of this to make a bitty baby to make it really full. Uh, one to one and a half rolls, depending on how long you make it and how full you want it. But I find that one of these, maybe one and a half, will make a full tutu. And of course, I'm using several different colors, so I'm only going to use a few strips of either. And I usually uh, cut out several because I can use the extras for the hairband or for my next tutu. So it doesn't matter if you cut some extra on it, but it does take about one. Um, so it's a very inexpensive gift. The bitty babies are anywhere from four to five dollars, and then you've got about another dollar in the ribbon in this. So it's about a six, seven dollar gift at the most. And believe me, the little girls love it. They go wild over it. So, so what I do is I take a just a small strip of Scotch tape, and I tape it to the top of the cardboard, just like that, just to kind of hold it. Then I take the tool and I wrap it around like this. Get it started. And once you get it started, it's very easy to wrap it. And you just take it, wrap it right around. Now we've got it wrapped, like, and it is easier sometimes once you get it started just to turn the cardboard rather than to wrap the uh, remaining around it. Just like this, just flip it over like that once you get it started, once that tape holds it in place. Now I've got that to the end, so I'm going to trim that. So we're going to trim this off. Okay, now we'll have something like this. Now what you're going to do is you're going to turn it back over. You're going to gently get in, under, underneath it like this. You're going to pull it out like this and get it started. And you're going to take your scissors and go right underneath it like this and cut. Don't worry about getting it, the jagged edges, you can trim that up later on. Now you're going to take this off, holding it at the bottom. There's your taped piece. Go right in between those and cut them. And trust me, this is a lot easier than trying to cut these out individually. Now, like I said, you can always trim them after we get them tied off. You're not worried about that right now, so... There we go. We've got this many strips on that. That's quite a few, and that's probably more than I need for this particular tutu. But like I said, I can always use them in other tutus, and I'm also going to need some for her hair bow, too. So stay tuned. Okay, we've got our strips out here. We're going to start tying them off. Now, some people, I will say, like to go over the ribbon. I generally like to go underneath it. It really doesn't matter. It's just whatever preference you want. On these strips, however, instead of just scrunching them up like most people do, I like to fold mine over. This one's got a little bit of an edge on it. Like I said, don't stress too much over that because we're going to straighten that up later on. You'll drive yourself crazy if you do. What I like to do is I like to fold my strips in half vertically. It doesn't have to be perfect, but I try to get it as close to the edge as possible because I find that it has a prettier pleat and it lays much prettier if you fold it over like this. So what you're going to do is fold it over vertically like that and then you're going to fold it in half like this. 
put your finger underneath the folded half like this. Now you're going to pull it together. You're going to go up underneath, pull that loop up, and then you're going to go through and pull the rest of it up like this. Now here, when you get it through, is where you can adjust it to kind of make it a little more even, like right like that. And then you're going to go from there and you're just going to pull it, not really tight, uh, just snug. That's what I like to say, and you can adjust it just like that. Now we're going to take the second color. This is the glitter strip of dark purple. I'm going to fold it over vertically like this. I'm going to fold it in half. Put my finger underneath like this. Scrunch it up. I'm going to pull it underneath. Now this glitter tool is a little bit harder to work with than the other, so you have to kind of make it work for you. There's my hole, and I'm going to put a slip knot in there just like that. Pull it through. Pull it out. And here's where I make it a little even. Adjust it accordingly. Don't worry about it if it's not straight. We'll straighten that up later on. Hold your ribbon. Now on this glitter, you'll have to pull it like this. It's, it doesn't pull as easily as the other, but it, it's not too bad. Alrighty, and there's our second one. We're going to pull it right over there next to that one. And so far, you've got this. Now, keep in mind, you don't have to use variegated colors. You don't have to use different shades of the color, or you don't have to even mix them and match them. You can do them all one color. If you do them all one color, certainly it's going to go a lot easier and a lot quicker, but if this is not going to take long at all because the Bitty Babies are so small, and the American Babies, it's just going to take, it's probably going to take you from the time you cut it, cut your strips out, cut your ribbon, and tie them off. You're going to get one done in an hour, and then when you get really quick at them, you might can get some one done in 30 minutes to 45 minutes. Something really quick. It's a really last good last minute gift. Fold it in half. Fold it again. This is the orchid color. Put your thumb or your forefinger through either one. Make a loop just like that. Go up underneath. Bring your ends through. it top. Make it a little even right here. Adjust it. And pull it through. Just like that. Now we've got three different shades of purple on there. You can see that. And this one's a little bit longer, but that's okay because we're going to trim all that off when we get done. And I'm going to put these other shades on here. And you can watch me do a few more, and then we'll see what it looks like when we get back. tied all these off and as you can see it made it very full very pretty and like I said when I fold them over I think it makes it lay a little bit prettier and um, I'm going to take this off of here and put on the baby doll so you can see what it looks like on the doll Get bitty baby up here Of course, I've not trimmed it yet either. I'm just going to tie this loosely around the back back here. And as you can see, it makes it really pretty. And it's long. It comes almost to her feet. You can trim it off if you want to. Um, I like it kind of full like that. And I'm going to make the hair bow that goes with it that you saw at the beginning of the video. 
and we're going to sew it right up here on this hat or hot glue it on. We'll probably just hot glue it on. Uh, the little hat comes off, but I'm going to put like a little rosé type hair bow there that you saw in the beginning of the video. That'll be on the next video. And then, we're, of course, we're going to trim these edges off, and we're going to uh, trim the ribbon in the back. It's going to be tied in a pretty bow back here, and it's going to flow down the back back here. You can see as it goes there, and then we'll do the hair bow. Now, I'm going to show you what it looks like on the 18-inch uh, or the American Girl doll also. See, that makes a pretty good um, length for the 18-inch doll as well. Now, you can make these longer, and you can go to the uh, 3 to 6 month length that I've got on my cardboard over here, which is 16 inches. And if you do that, then it'll come all the way to her feet, and that's a very pretty length for her too. The 16 inch as well. This is the 12 inch, of course, for the bitty babies and for the shorter tutus and for the newborns. Now I'm going to show you how we're going to trim it out. Okay, there's different ways to trim this out. I usually generally just kind of eyeball it while it's still on this um, lampshade. There's a different way to do it too. It's a pretty effective way to do it too. You can lay it down on a table and flatten it out. Uh, and just spread it out, put your hand on it, put your hand on the edge of it like here against the table and trim it like this. But I generally just try to eyeball it like here. You're, it's not like you're making a pageant dress or anything. It's for a little girl or for a um, gift. So what I generally do is I just kind of grab it up right here and just kind of trim it off just like this. Just get those raw edges on there. And it don't have to be perfect. It's still going to look good no matter what you do. Just kind of trim that off a little bit and kind of even it up. Like I said, it's for your little princess to play with, not sit it up on a shelf anyway. Now, I guess if you were going to make one that's going to be a showcase or something, you'd, of course, want to do it better. But as you can see, there's the colors on it the variegated purple on it. And I'm just going to trim that off and get it all done and then I'll show you what it looks like all finished. When you get through trimming it out and getting it where you want it, the way you want it, then you're going to turn around here in the back and of course you're going to cut your ribbon at an angle and you're going to take a lighter, the kind you light candles with or something and just run it across there just for a second or two just to singe the edges so it won't ravel and um, then you'll be done. And I'll show you the finished product in just a moment and then stay tuned for the second tutorial which is going to show you how to make the hair bow out of the scrap tool that I have left over which is right here and that's why I cut extra ones for it. I'm going to use ribbon and this extra tool to make the hair bows so stay tuned.